Hello, my name is Colin Campbell. I'm with Polygon. You're looking at We Are Chicago, which is out this week. It's a dialogue game in which you play a high school student who has to make some tough choices. <laughs> I'm going to stop talking to uh, while the dialogue is on. Damn, there goes the bill. Sure. Sounds good. Later. You do. You cause part of the stones. You gonna diss the man or else? You better watch yourself. Okay, so there's a section here in which there's uh, not too much dialogue, and I'll try to talk about the game, and then I'm just gonna let you watch the rest of this 30 minute video. Uh, so this game is uh, it's been made in Chicago. Uh, some of the writers uh, have have sort of lived in these areas where the game takes place. A lot of people have been interviewed in order to uh, get a sense of what they wanted to talk about. Uh, in our review, I think we mentioned that there is a sort of sense of message. You might even think of it as being a tiny bit preachy, uh, but but I think that. Uh, personally, I'm gonna. I, I want to ignore that because there are so few games that are doing what this game is doing, which is taking a look at ordinary lives, uh, which are made unordinary by difficult circumstances, by living in areas that are neglected by the government, that are uh, that are suffer from high crime rates, that suffer from uh, various levels of poverty. In this part of the game, you can see the sort of problems that Aaron has to deal with uh, in his life as he tries to. Uh, improve his lot, and as the game goes on, you start, you, you know, in this 30 minute section, you just sort of get a sense of uh, the world that he lives in. You get a sense of some of the mechanics, mostly dialogue, a little bit of uh, sort of low level mundane activities, uh, and a lot of the time, you're just kind of going through these conversation trees and uh, hearing what other people have to say, and you know, trying not to be too much of a, of a dick. Uh, this is his friend from work who you spend this whole first section with. Uh, uh, after this conversation, I am going to uh, be quiet. I'm just going to let you watch the rest of the game and make up your own mind about this. As I say, it's coming out on Windows PC on Steam this week, and I recommend that you uh, you take a look at it. Anyway, that's enough from me. I just don't Enjoy have We Are time, Chicago. You know, with looking after my mom, we've been working a lot of shifts lately, man. I feel like I see you more than my mom. Yeah, I guess I'll have to. Just need to find a shift. I'm not already working with you. Yeah, only got the one brother. Yeah, older, name's Tim. He a little bitch, if you know what I mean. He don't do nothing to help my mom out at all. Like one time he got in his head that a drive-by on some dude's house was a good idea. His way of protecting the family. I'd always hoped he'd grow up. Funny, right? He's three years older than me, but it's like I'm the big brother. Oh yeah, Taylor's your sister that you talk about at work. Did something happen at the park? That's rough, man. Strength only goes so far by itself. What do you want for your sister? I hear you. I guess now is the best time to do my homework, right? Sure, sounds cool. Tamika, you and Crystal going to the party this Friday? 
I don't know, Troy. My girl told me them gangsters might show up there. How she know they coming? Her boyfriend is one of them. Hey, Aaron. Yo. School's over. Get out of here. Ready to go? Let's head outside. Well, think about it like this. You're way more likely to introduce yourself to a female than a dude. <laughs> right. The only guys I know at school, besides you, are the ones I played on the baseball team with. We should cross so we don't run into any trouble, man. Man, you messed up. Why you want to mess with them gangsters? Was on the baseball team. I played through sophomore year, then I had to start helping with the bills. Hey, that's cool. How'd y'all first meet? Hey, those are good friends. I've moved a bunch, so it got hard to keep in touch. You know what I'm saying? I'd like to, but the disciples got the whole hood closed off. And they at war with the dudes over here. It makes me worry for my friends there. Right now, I'm hearing that the Disciples and the Stones are recruiting and shooting. How about you? You ain't gonna have no trouble graduating, are you? <laughs> That's good to hear. Not to stroke your ego or nothing, but you one of the smartest dudes I know. It's a good thing to be humble, but you can't judge smarts by grades. Who the heck is they? The college admission guys? So how old is this little genius you've been bragging on? last night. Who's this? Hello, Taylor. It's nice to finally meet you. Your brother talks about you all the time. Hi. <laughs> we should walk to the, to the other side of the street. to the park, aren't we, Aaron? Yay! I should have known you would keep your word. I can't wait to play on the merry-go-round. And to swing. It seems like we haven't been to the park since forever.
I'm with you, Taylor. When I was your age, I couldn't get enough of the park either. Don't you still love it? Yeah, I do, but probably not as much as you. If they don't, they're losing out. Taylor, Aaron tells me that you're pretty good at science. Yeah, we looked at the epidermis under a microscope. It was weird. <laughs> well, I can't argue with you on that. We had a guest speaker at school. We learned about Hannibal the Great. What did they have to say about him? He said that Hannibal was a great general from Carthage in northern Africa. And he invaded Rome and captured it. Hannibal was smart. He knew the Romans wouldn't be guarding the Alps because they thought that nobody could cross them. They're cool. They must be, if you like them. Hey, fellas, what's up? This is James. What's going on, James? I've seen you at school. Hey, James. My name is Rob. And I'm Justin. Yo, what's up, fellas? Hooray! Yeah, man. You you got Mr. Scott for math, right? Man, that dude's so ancient. You probably seen me walking my girl to his class. Yeah, I had him last semester. Almost failed. What about English with Mrs. Walker? Yeah, I got her. She ain't all that bad, other than all the homework. It's bullshit. She grades you on the dumbest stuff in her class. <laughs> yeah, right. Periods and other pointless things, right? I'm just glad it ain't so bad that Taylor can't come out here and play. You both are pretty damn lucky. It was dangerous when we was her age. We didn't have someone watching over us. Yeah, I ain't heard of nothing happening here lately. Now that's because the disciples got this hood now. Ain't nobody doing nothing. You don't know how many times I've been here and they came talking. Yeah, but you still ain't talking back, right? Hey, shut up, man. I know what I'm about. And I ain't saying nothing to nobody. I'm still trying to find a job. Is your place hiring? Sure, if you could. I've heard there are a couple places by Ethan's hiring, too. Justin's family has a <laughs> kind of a reputation. Oh, I feel you. I had to deal with that myself trying to get a job. Wait, you're James Williams? That makes sense. You go, Taylor. Man, watching your sis really takes me back. It's like your only job was to have fun. No problem. I wish somebody was there for me when I was young. So about the job, think you can at least ask? I even joined the military just to get away from all this crap.
I hear what you're saying, but I'm taking it one day at a time and doing whatever I have to do. You right about that. Ain't nobody got tomorrow promised. Yeah, we're gonna be here. Okay. Bye, Rob. Bye, Justin. Later. Nice meeting y'all. Likewise. See you around. Yeah. Catch you later. Is James walking with us? That's right. Mom loves to cook for company. I feel guilty if I turn down such a great invitation. That's great. Come on, let's go. my mom though, so I should be fine to stay over for dinner. You'll like our place. I love it. And I would miss it if we ever left it. Oh, but I would love to have a real bed in my own bedroom. And more than one bathroom. spend half as much time in there as you do. Right, bruh, but I don't know if that will help. Don't listen to him, big brother. Mama always tells you how handsome you are. <laughs> handsome? Right. At least you got your poetry going for you. When I read what the gangbangers write on the walls, half the time they can't even spell gangsters. And most of them in jail can barely read or write. Seems like without the proper education, people were already half dead. What's that saying? Picture of them. Your future is college, Aaron. Of course I am. Can't stay too long. Gotta get home soon to check on my mom. Mom um, shouldn't be long. I'm gonna watch the news. Yeah, I know what you mean. I usually end up pissed off or upset for the rest of the day. Sure, I'll take some water.
I still can't believe we lived so close to each other this whole time. True that. I've been lucky so far. I haven't run into any of Tim's enemies. It's been a few months since the last time, but luckily they just took my money. Sometimes they shoot you just for the hell of it. Man, I've been thinking about getting a gun. Did they take anything from him? Yeah, thanks. Sure. stars you call this messy I'd hate for you to see my room but trust me yours is a lot cleaner it's cool bro no wonder your mom works so much. Where's your pops now? He was in jail. And now that he's out, he's hardly ever around. And that's fine, because all he does is bring trouble, drug money, and his gang brothers and bullshit. Yeah, that's why Tim thinks he's so down. Because my dad says it's the only way to live here, and Tim thinks whatever he says is law. If more people helped, man, I know you must lose a lot of sleep trying to take care of your sister. Try to be there for my moms too, as much as possible. Yeah, I hope so. It's hard to always know what's right. Yeah, you right. I'm just trying to get through school. Yeah, sure. you calling funny. I'm just watching the news. Nah, James is over. It's okay. Your crib is cool. Isn't it awesome? I like my room the best. Did you see it? It's my room too. How did you like the stars in Aaron's room? I put them up. With Aaron's help. <laughs> yeah, those are cool. Those are the removable stickers, right? Yeah, we put them up as constellations. That's okay. 
we got the cool ones like the Dippers, Leo, and Gemini. Did you learn about those in school? Yeah, and from Aaron. Yeah, I haven't decided yet, but just wait, it'll be awesome. Hello? Oh. Hi, Mama. How was your day? Hello, Taylor. Hello, Aaron. Who's this young man? Oh, yes, you did. Nice to finally meet you, James. Aaron has told me good things about you. Nice to meet you, Ms. Davis. I've heard good things about you, too. Well, consider yourself at home. I didn't bring home anything too fancy, but we should have dinner ready soon. Head to the left sink when you're ready to make some pasta. Yeah, I'm starving. Let's go. All right, everyone, dinner is almost ready. As soon as I finish slicing this onion for the salad, we can get started. Mama, I don't know how you cut those onions without crying. Don't you remember what I told you? The secret is running cold water while you're cutting them. My mother taught me the same thing, Miss Davis. Mama is the best cook in the whole world. Taylor, I'm sure that James's mother is an excellent cook, too. I know that's right, Mama, because James don't look like he's missed any meals. <laughs> Girls got jokes. Let's just say my mom knows her way around the kitchen. Can you get the plates out first? Then we'll start serving. No, Aaron. We can just put the salad on the side next to the pasta. I'm gonna need a bowl, Mama. You know I can't stand for my foods to be touching. Maybe so, but not on my plate. Who wants their salad all soggy with spaghetti sauce? Would you two just quit it? You keep on like that, and James will get the idea that you two don't like one another. Dinner's ready. Come sit down and let's bless the food. Bow your heads. Dear Lord, we thank you for the meal we are about to receive, and we thank you for life, family, and friends. Amen. <laughs> Was that a gunshot? Everyone stay seated and don't go near the windows. I'm so tired of all these shootings. It's like we're prisoners in our own houses. Thanks, Aaron. Do you think Anyone got shot? I hope to God that nobody got shot. We hear shots all the time, but we don't hear police sirens half as much. I think so. As safe as it can be. Yeah, I just hate it. Everybody else on the block's probably doing the same as us. Let's just see what happens. All right, let's try and finish this up like a normal dinner. <laughs> 